Music Access. This week will be a busy one as we need to send off March and say hello to April. Are you guys ready to send March off and say goodbye to winter and greet in April and say hello to spring? For people who are always full of confidence or for people who are afraid of this、uh, spring for some reason, The new season will arrive to us in the same speed and temperature. So, what about just thinking about something that you wanted that very first time? Or that very first feeling you had and going on head first towards spring? But you guys know that spring weather is really fickle, right? But who cares? Let yourself be swayed by the fickle weather. Then, who knows? While you're swaying left and right, That could become almost like a cool dance and lead your life in an even better and more awesome direction. You never know with life. Beautiful and starry eyed, I can see you. Was little by Little by Mansu. Hello, Music Axis family. It's me, Music Axis DJ, Royal Pirates, Moon Kim. And happy Monday, everybody. I have a slight Monday、uh, sickness, and I always function kind of slow on Monday, so I hope you guys understand. And it's spring. Love is in the air. Everybody's getting married. Everybody's starting a new relationship. But sadly, nothing really new for me. But, anyways, here are the announcements for today's show. For the first hour, we're gonna accept applications for anybody who wishes to become a part of Moon's Music Access family on MAF. Then we have a corner for all of your questions for me and my answers with Moon Question, followed by Moon Quiz and Message Time. And for our second hour, we're gonna find out what's going on in the Korean entertainment industry with Karen for our Monday corner. All that K. And she'll join me in the studio in just a minute. And here's how you can listen and participate. If you have a smartphone, you can download the Arirang Radio application and tune in radio to listen to our programs and send in your messages in real time. If you use a computer, just visit www.arirangradio.com slash music access to listen to us or leave your messages. Another way you can tune in is through. Terrestrial DMB, but this is only available for listeners living on Jeju-do Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo, and 101.9 for Daejeon. So, if you have any songs you want to hear today, or maybe a song you want to let someone hear as a gift, send those requests on our message board with the subject titled Request. All right, we'll come right back after a song for message time. Wish You Were Here by Cody Simpson featuring Becky G. The song you just heard was Wish You Were Here by Cody Simpson featuring Becky G. All right, it's time to listen to your stories with message time. We have a message from Narumi from Japan. Hi, Moon DJ. My name is Narumi.、Uh, did you cut your hair? Yes, I did. Can you guys tell? You look so young. I like your long hair more than short hair, though. Are you going to try to change your hair color like Exy? Love you, Moon from Narumi. Yes, I did cut my hair. And yeah, the thing about me is like, when I have long hair, I look kind of old. But when I cut it, I just become like a kid. I feel so young with it. I don't know why. I think I kind of have that face when I have short hair, I look young. But yeah, there are fans. I have like two types of fans the fans that love my long hair and fans that love my short hair.、And、so I guess you're the short hair、uh, type of person. Listen, that to me. All right, thank you. But、uh, my hair color, I do not think I'm going to change it like Gexy. I don't think I'm going to look too good with. Like crazy hair color. I'm gonna try to、uh, just keep it kind of, you know, pretty normal. All right, love you too, Narumi, and thank you. Next one, we have、uh, Herlin Tra from Australia. New hairstyle, hue, hue, hue. Potato Daddy, you look so cute with this new hairstyle. It's cute, it's so cute. Thank you very much, Herlin.、Um, I don't know if being cute is,、uh, is good, but all right, thank you very much for your compliment. I, I'm glad you like it. Uh, Camille Sison from the Philippines says, Happy Moon Day! It's the first day after the weekend, and I'm already tired. Enlighten me, Moon. Just dropping by. Have a great week. All right, just by listening to music access and by the songs we play my, by, by my voice, I hope that aligns you, Camille. 
And yeah, I mean, Mondays for everybody, it's kind of tiring and it's kind of stressful. But hang in there, all right? Okay, next one from Teresa. Hey, Moon. Just wanted to wish you a happy Monday. Hope you had a nice Easter weekend. Did you do anything special? Of course I did. I stayed home all day. That's special. Uh, one of my cousins from Taiwan actually got married this past weekend, but unfortunately the flight times from Korea didn't work out for me, so I couldn't go. No, it's from Teresa. Oh, that sucks. They couldn't make it to your uh, cousin's wedding, but I yeah, hope you had a great uh, Easter weekend as well. What did you do, Teresa? Let me know. All right, next one's from Pansy Brunson from USA. Hi, DJ Moon. On Sunday, we... We observed Easter. I hope I have enjoyed reading the Easter greetings and seeing the photos on SNS as my friends celebrated and went to church or their place of worship. What is the common way that Easter is observed in your country? From Pansy. I mean, Korea, I think it's pretty similar to America, but I think it's... Uh, I think it's mostly just celebrated in the church. Um, you know how just kind of everybody, not even Christian, they just share uh, like uh, like chocolate and Easter eggs and all that stuff. But in Korea, I think just mostly in church, and not really outside of that. All right, thank you very much, Pansy Brinson. Hope you had a great weekend too. And thanks so much, everybody, for sending in your messages to Message Time. Let's listen to a song before we come back with MAF. Guando, guando. Guando by Michael Bublé featuring Nelly Furtado. Let me show you the way. Let me show you the way to a joy beyond. I can't wait a moment I can't wait a moment more Tell me quando, quando, quando Say it's me that you adore And then darling tell me Darling, tell me when And then, darling, tell me when Oh, my darling, tell me when Calling all music access family. From today, we are M A F. M A F is, of course, the acronym for Music Access Family. This corner is for us to collect applications from all of you who wish to become a member of Music Access Family, and I will introduce those applications for you on air. Some of the things we would like to see on your application is your name, of course, where you live, your age, and other interesting facts about you. You can also write about your hobby, your interests, your likes, dislikes, or anything else you want to say to me is fine too. All right, today's first MAF message is from Lynn Alleged from Philippines. Hi, DJ Moon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too, Lynn. Getting used to calling you DJ Moon now and listening to music access becomes a daily habit already. Great. Finally, I'm sending my application for MAF. I have been listening to music access since you started to become the DJ, but it's only today I apply for MAF because I want it to be a memorable one because today is my birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lynn. Anyways, my name is Lynn. I live in Manila, Philippines and is a professional accountant. I've been a K-pop and K-drama fan since 2009 and Royal Pirates fan for almost two years now. I love Royal Pirates songs, especially You, Without You, 
Haru, and See What I See. RP songs and your voice helps me in coping with work stress and making me relax after a tiring day at work. Awesome. Recently, I visited Korea, but too bad it's the week after the Beyond concert, but I was able to buy all RP's album. Yay! I've been wanting to see RP in person since I became your fan, and I, and I will make sure to come, on your, come to your next concert. Uh, that's it for now. Hope you will accept my applications for Music Access Family. And if it's not too much, can you sing me a happy birthday in Korean? Ha ha ha. Sang il chu ka ham nida. Sang il chu ka ham nida. Sarang anun lin. Sang il chu ka ham nida. Woo! All right. Thank you, DJ Moon. Please say hello to Exi, James, and Enoch. We'll keep on supporting RP and anticipating the day I will see you all in person. Hope you have a nice week ahead. Thank you very much, Lynn, for your message. And of course, you're welcome to Music Access Family. Yes, you're officially a member now. And yeah, I think it's the first time or second time you send a message to MA, to Music Access. And from now on, you should send more. I would like to get to know more about you. Right now, I just know that you live in the Philippines and you're a fan of K-pop and K-drama and fan of RP. But I would like to know what your hobbies are, you know, what your favorite food is, you know, what's your favorite movie, all that stuff. Send it in. I want to get to know you better. All right, Lynn, thank you very much. And thanks to everyone for participating in MAF. Let's listen to a song before we come back with more on MAF. We're going to listen to Superman by Five for Fighting, requested. by Adiba from Malaysia. It's not easy to be me. The song you just heard was Superman by Five for Fighting, requested by Adiba from Malaysia. Did you guys watch the new Superman and Batman movie? I haven't seen it, but I've heard mixed reviews about it, but I'm kind of excited to watch it. Anyways, our next MAF is from Ramona from Mexico. Hello, Moon. My name is Ramona. I'm 30 plus years old. Okay, I was born in Mexico, but I lived in Whittier in California since I was two years old. I'm an introvert, but it's funny that the work I do involves working with people. Oh, the irony. Sometimes it's tough, but what can you do? For the most part, people are good. Yeah, they're good. I've been an avid K-drama and K-pop fan for about 11 years already. It all started in the summer of 2004. Wow, 2004 is already 11 years old. I mean, <laughs> 11 years ago. Can you guys believe that? Time flies. All because I was at home very bored. I was channel surfing when I ended up on a channel where they were speaking a language I was not familiar with. I found it interesting. I eventually realized it was Korean. I loved it. It got me... ...hooked. This addiction of mine, I owe it to the drama. The Scent of Summer. I remember that drama. It was with, I think it was with Song Seung Hyun, Son Ye Jin, and Daniel Henney, was it? Not sure. Oh, wait, not Daniel Henney. Song Seung Hyun, Son Ye Jin. It became the portal to other dramas that came after. My K pop addiction became about uh, through the drama Kumiho. You see, I found one of its actors handsome, and so I wanted to know more about him. Uh, it turns out he was a member of an idol group named Xinhua. So it's Chun Jin. I've, I, Chun Jin's fault. I entered the wonderful world of K-pop. I love it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Chun Jin too because he used to be on a variety show, a very famous variety show in Korea. And I've, he's really funny. And when I feel stressed, I play the current song I'm into. And if anyone comes to town for a concert or event, I make sure to be there. Usually at the front, so moon, I'm still waiting for the Royal Pirates to come to Los Angeles. Once you do, I'll definitely be there in the front row. If you don't come soon, I guess I'll have to go to Korea to see RP perform. I hope this message is not too long. Love you, moon, and take care. 
All right, thank you very much, Ramona. And although it's been 11 years, welcome to the world of K-pop and K-drama, the K-culture. Welcome. And uh, yeah, we definitely want to go to Los Angeles for a show, but if we don't, we recommend that you come to Korea to see us in the front row. And I'll be looking for you, Ramona. I'll be looking for you in the front row. But it's got to be tough because a lot of the fans, you know, they fight for the front row. But um, I'm sure you're going to be able to pull through. All right, thank you, Ramona, and welcome to Music Access Family. And thanks to everybody for participating in MAF. So, here's how you can participate for MAF. Just visit www.arirangradio.com slash musicaccess and write MAF on your message title and then leave us a message. Or download Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio on your smartphone and use the comment function to write MAF on your title and leave us a message that way. All right, we'll come back right after a song from Moon Quiz. We're going to listen to I Really Like You by Carly Rae Jepsen, requested by Emmy from Japan. Team, team. Solving, answering, and enjoying questions with Moon on Moon Quiz. Moon Quiz is not difficult or complicated. There are three hints for the answer. The first hint will be a little hard. The second hint will be a little easier. And the third hint will be really easy. So, let's start today's Moon Quiz. First hint. Every April in Korea, this flower festival is held. This flower is compared to popcorn or snowflakes. What is this flower? Second hint. I mentioned that Korea holds this flower festival each year in April. And this year, this festival will be held in early April in Yeoido, right here in Seoul, and Chinhae, South uh, Gyeongsang province. And I'm going to give you a hint about the name of this flower. This flower's name has the name of a fruit in it. This fruit is, uh, it's small, it's round, it's red. It is a stem in a pit when you eat it. And it's, uh, sometimes it's sweet, but mostly it's sour. It's very small, all right? So what is the name of this flower that has a, uh, that is this fruit in its name? And third hint, when you hear this name, you want to see this flower, but you don't want to go alone, you want to go with someone you love. Let's listen to the song that we all want to sing together during the spring season with the person we love. PD님, music hint, Q. <laughs> All right, and we talked about this song with Karen on All That K last week, remember? So what is the name of this flower? If you know today's answer, write answer on your title and send us a message with the correct answer. Okay, before we move on, let's listen to a song, Too Fast, by Royal Pirates, requested by Jia from Malaysia. The song you just heard was Too Fast by the Royal Pirates, requested by Jia Chin from Malaysia. And this corner is for all of your questions about me and my answer. It's called Moon Question. We have one from Stacy from USA. Hi, Moon. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Stacy? It's finally feeling like spring in Korea. Uh, two hours away from 
uh, us, there's a snow up in the mountains in Reno and Lake Tahoe. I'm hoping you can uh, help me feel better. Of course, I, of course I will. I've had laryngitis. Oh my god. For two weeks now and wondered what you do to keep your voice healthy or, or make it better when it's not. Please help. I'm tired of feeling under the weather. Hugs. Stacy Nuna. Don't call me Ajuma. LOL. Of course, Stacy Nuna. Um, laryngitis. I've had the exact thing. Actually, it was last year or two, oh, two years ago. Uh, two years ago, I've had laryngitis and when I had laryngitis, I couldn't sing. I couldn't sing, but I, there were so many uh, times and places where I had to sing. Uh, but it went on for like four months, so I couldn't hit any high notes. So the highest note I could hit was like, na 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 na, and it wouldn't go up from that note. And I thought it was gonna be forever. I thought my voice was messed up, but uh, it comes back. It's gonna take time, but it it's gonna come back. I think it might last like three months. But the best thing to do is save your voice. Don't talk too much. Don't sing, and keep it hydrated at all times. Wear a mask and drink lots of water. Take medicine. Go see a doctor. And once you get it, um, it's gonna last for a, for quite a while. So don't worry too much because it's gonna go away. But yeah, stay healthy, Stacy. I hope you get better. All right, next one is from Andrea Kett from Australia. Hi, Moon. Here's a very random question: What three things you think of when you hear sirens? Mm, I think of earthquakes because I used to live in California. I've experienced a few earthquakes. I think of war because sirens, war, and fire. Yeah, those three things. And if you had to take just three things uh, with you when you hear sirens, what would you take? Uh, I would take a lighter because it's hard to survive without fire. So a lighter, probably a weapon to protect myself and my family. And mm, what else would I take? I would take uh, my cell phone. Yeah, because if I get the signal, I can like ask for help, call SOS or something, anything, right? Yes, those three things. All right, thank you, Andrea Kett and Stacy, for your questions. And if you would like to send your question for Moon Question, you can also send it in using the comment function on your Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio smartphone app's comment function. Or you can go to www.arirangradio.com slash music access and post it up on our message board there. And for both, do not forget to write Moon Question on your title before you send your message. Okay, before we move on, let's listen to a song. Special Love by Hisong and Komi, requested by Nana from Japan. The song you just heard was Special Love by Hisong and Komi, requested by Nana from Japan. And guess what time it is? It's time for message time. And the next message is from Eka from Indonesia. Hi Moon, happy Monday. Happy Monday to you too, Eka. Me and my friends plan to go to Gyeongnam this weekend for Pokot Festival. Can't wait for it. This will be my Pokot Festival outside Seoul because... Last year, I was very busy and didn't have the chance to visit more uh, Poco Chukje, Poco festivals. Do you have any plan to visit Spring Festival? Uh, no specific plans yet, but I would definitely love to go to one because, like I said before, I've never been to one. Because I see a lot, I see a lot like when I'm driving by or when I'm like running or when I'm outside, but like the festival festival itself, I've never been to. I wonder what it's like. Do you guys just walk there? Or do you guys, is, is there like any like booth, like they sell food and is it kind of like that, like drink beer and is that kind of uh, atmosphere or is it just walking? I don't know what it's like. So people who's been there, tell me how it is, all right? Okay, I can have fun on your festival. I hope it's, I hope it's, uh, I hope you make amazing memories there. Okay, next one is from Wakako from Japan. Happy Monday, Munopa. I'm on a spring vacation and have a spring cleaning now. Huh. What is spring cleaning? I wonder what that is. Um, but congratulations for being on spring vacation. I actually, I wish I had a vacation too, but you know how it is. You know, like in entertainment in industry, there's no really uh, breaks or vacations. When you have to do something, you got to do something. So it's, it's rare for people to go on vacations in this industry, but I would definitely love one. If I go on a spring vacation, I think I'd want to go to Japan, Wakako. I think I've always went to Japan for work. 
I've always want uh, I went there for concerts and stuff, but barely had the chance to like look around. I mean, I walked around like Shinjuku and Harajuku like for ten minutes. That's it. Like we had like ten or thirty minutes a uh, break in between like show and the next show. So that's like the most I saw of Japan. So next time I go, I hope it's for like a vacation. All right, have fun, Wakako. And next one is from Jenny from USA. Hi, Moon. Happy Monday. How was your weekend? My weekend was all right. Uh, on Saturday, I we worked on a new song. We started working on a new song. And Sunday, I was mostly at home. I just took a sweet rest. I slept all day, just watched, uh, watched my favorite shows, played games. That's what I did. I was in New York City with friends eating a lot of food and went to a karaoke place. I had a lot of fun. Wish I could do it again. My gosh, it's been such a long time since I went to a karaoke place. Um, what do you what do you usually sing when you go to karaoke? I'm assuming that you guys sing a lot of just K-pop songs, right? I think I think a lot of guys like to sing like Korean ballads. And for me too, I like to sing ballads when I go to karaoke, but it's kind of like a mood killer. So, I try not to, but yeah, karaoke is fun. Okay, next one is from Daphne Pan from USA. Hi, Moon. I like your haircut. I recently cut my hair too. Cool. Today is my last day of spring break and I have to get up at 7 in the morning for class. No. Please wish me luck fighting. All right. Good luck, Daphne Pan. That's really early. I can't imagine waking myself up at that time, but good luck and good luck with school. All right. Thank you, Daphne. And Huyen Pupu from Vietnam. Hello, Munopa. It's me, Huyen Pupu from Vietnam. It's long. It's been a long time since I last listened to you. What? I've been so busy with my studies. How have you been? Do you watch any good drama or TV shows? Please recommend to me. Love you, XOXO. Have a nice day. Um, any good drama or TV shows? I I'm trying to watch Taeyang Huye, the new uh, Descendants of the Sun, because everybody says it's good, but I couldn't really get into it yet. But I'm I'm sure I will if I give it more chance. And I'm also watching Dragon Ball Z. That show is awesome. All right. I hope that answers your question, Huye. And thank you guys for sending in your messages for message time. All right. We're going to listen to two songs before we come back with more. Uh, 시간을 달려서 by 여자친구 and 기분 좋은 날 by Alex. Was 시간을 달려서 by 여자친구 and 기분 좋은 날 by Alex, requested by Sanyar from China. All right, let me read a quick message from Gracelyn from Singapore. Happy Monday, Munopa. I hope you had a great weekend. I saw on SNS that RP went to the Seoul Fashion Week and James walked the runway. Hey, hey, James rocked that runway. Did you have, uh, you had a good time with Seun and James? Of course I did. I think James rocked it. I was so proud of him. Uh, guess what? I dreamt of you. Uh, I dreamt that we were working or doing something, but when I woke up, when I woke up, I can't remember uh, what we did. But you were in my dream. Awesome, Gracelyn. Thank you very much, and I hope that was a sweet dream. All right, it's almost time to wrap up the first hour. In the second hour, we're gonna come back with Karen for all that K. And to wrap things up for the first hour, I will let you hear "Walking in the Sun" by Travis, requested by Yayoi from Japan, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. We're starting up the second hour of Music Access with me, Moon of the Royal Pirates. And in the second hour today, we'll take some time to talk about what's going on with our K-pop stars and K-dramas with All That K. Karen will join us in the studio for that in just a bit. And here's how you can listen and participate. You can download the Arirang Radio or TuneIn Radio application on your smartphones and you can also send us messages through the app using the comment function. You can also listen to us by visiting our website www.arirangradio.com slash music access and leave your messages there on our message board. Another way you can tune in is through Terrestrial DMB but this is only available for our listeners living on Jejudo Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Jeju City, 88.1 for Sogipo and 101.9 for Daejeon. All right, after listening to a song, we're going to come back with Karen for all that K. We're going to listen to 
덕수궁 돌담길의 봄 by 유나 featuring 10cm more about K-pop? Wanna know more about K-dramas? Wanna know more about K-culture? All OK on All, All That, that K! K. Hi, Karen. Hi, Moon. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm all right. All right. All right. All right. Just Not all bad. right. Yeah, it's Monday. I have a little <laughs> Monday sickness, but I'm all right. Okay. Well, you must have had fun this weekend to oh, have yeah. Monday sickness. You have no idea. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was, that was just like a regular weekend. Like a regular weekend. Yeah. Just chillaxing. Just chillaxing. Just okay. chillaxing. Chilling. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had our music access family, mm-hmm. Taiko mm-hmm. from Japan. Mm-hmm. Uh, she made a request last week about all that K topic for this week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she wanted to hear some great songs from K drama or mm-hmm. K movie, mm-hmm. original soundtracks, and the meaning of some of the lyrics. Yes. Do you remember, Karen? Yeah, I remember she says that, or she said that some people actually start to, to or start to watch dramas because mm-hmm. of the original soundtrack. Yeah. And she also mentioned that she wanted to listen to the song or she liked the song Soninjang mm. or Cactus by yeah. Song Shigyong. That's a good song. Yes. Yeah, so I thought we could talk about the lyrics to that song first. And then okay. maybe we could uh, you know, choose a song that we like. Yeah. An original soundtrack from a movie or a, a drama that we like and maybe recommend it for our listeners. For sure. Okay, so, uh, 선인장, mm-hmm. uh, which translates to cactus. Cactus. Yes, it's by Song Si Kyung. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know what his nickname is? You should know his name. Songbala. Yeah. <laughs> That's his nickname. It sounds wrong. I don't know. Songbala. <laughs> Songbala. It sounds kind of wrong. Like, it, it sounds kind of wrong. It but, sounds uh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, it's his last name, Song, uh-huh. plus ballad. That's why it's Songbala. Yeah, Songbala. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... He has an amazing voice. He does. Uh, it's 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 a voice that's perfect for ballads. Yeah. Um, he he also sings other song genres well, but yeah. I he don't has, know. He he, he has sh- like one dance song, which <laughs> which he says is like the the best dance song of all all time or something, right? He, that, he says that. <laughs> he says it. Um, but he should stick with ballads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he should. <laughs> Which, uh, that's my personal opinion. Yeah, it's, it's a speciality. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, um, there's been, um, you know, we we call them like uh, Palade Huangje or Palade <laughs> Wangja. Like we have those, you know, nicknames, nicknames titles, or titles for the emperor of ballads. Right, right. So the prince uh, of ballads. There's been, you know, Shin Seungun. Uh, who else is there? There, there's you know some Isung Char. There's there's people who are just known for ballads, and he's definitely the the one of the younger ones. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, whatever song he sings, we we say uh So they they put hun- they he's, plaster he's it got, with honey. Yeah, yes. yeah. He's that good. Uh, so this song was actually uh, a part of the original soundtrack for the movie Yone mm. uh, The English title for this movie is A Lover's Concerto. Mm-hmm. And it stars Cha Taehyun, right. Son Yejin, mm-hmm. and the late Lee eun ah. mm. And uh, it's, it's basically about uh, Cha Taehyun remembering the complex relationship he had with two teenage girls, the late Lee eun and Son Yejin. It's like a love triangle. Yeah, that's like it's 14 years ago. Yes. It's definitely younger yes, Cha Taehyun right. and younger Sunijins. And you know, it's like when you're, you know, when you're young, when you're in like, you know, school, yeah. that that, you know, do There's you like do I like her? Do I like her? You know, that that kind of thing. Yeah. Um so it makes you kind of think back to your your school days mm-hmm. and I guess, you know, is it friendship? Is it love? That kind of thing. Well, it's that kind of uh, movie. Yes. I see. Uh, so the lyrics to the song was written by Yoon Sara mm-hmm. and she is a very famous uh, lyricist. Okay. She's written songs like Bogo Shipda wow. by Kim Bomsu. Hejul Su Omnen Il by mm. Park Hyo Shin. These are all very famous very songs. Very famous songs. Uh, Kim Jong Guk's Sarang uh. for our listeners, EXO's Shibi Ware Kijo, oh, wow. Miracle of December. A lot of ballads, huh? Yes, a lot well, of ballads. Well, was a, like a dance. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's also As One's uh, A Lot of ballads. Uh, and it was written by Jo Gyu Man. 
Right. Um, 조기만 다줄 거야. He's written songs like 다줄 거야, 김현우 사랑한다는 흔한 말. Wow. Uh, so very, very uh, famous songwriter and lyricist got together for this song. So no wonder it's a good song. Of course. Um, and the song was actually not written for this movie. It was included in Song Shi Kyung's second album, mm-hmm. but they got permission to use it for the original soundtrack of I this see. film. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Um, so listen carefully. Right. Uh, it starts out saying, 눈 뜨지 말아요. So don't open your eyes. 잠든 채 그냥 있어요. Just stay sleeping. Mm-hmm. 그대 눈물 못본 척할게요. I'm just going to ignore your tears. <laughs> 한번더 그대의 고운 얼굴을 가슴에 새길 수 있게 해줘요. So mm. one more time, let me engrave your pretty face in my heart. Right. 날 잡지 말아요. Don't hold me back. 내 못난 사랑 안에서 그댄 너무 힘들었잖아요. 힘들었잖아요. So you struggled. You had a hard time. You struggled too hard within my foolish love. So basically, mm. this person knows that the other person had a hard time. Mm-hmm. 내 욕심이 그대를 깨울 수 없게 이대로 말 없이 떠날 수 있게 도와줘요. So mm. help me leave just like this without a word, so that my greed cannot wake you up. Mm. Mm. So this person knows that. They, they're, they're not a good influence. They're not, they're not men, meant for mm-hmm, each other. Mm-hmm. Right. 사랑해서 내가 가까이 갈수록 그대 마음의 상처가 깊어져. As I went closer or as I got closer, your scars grew deeper. Mm-hmm. 우리는 너무나 닮지 못했죠. We could not grow similar. Mm-hmm. 우리에게 허락된 건 그저 바라보는 일. So all that was given to us was just looking at each other. Ah. Yeah. So it's kind of like the cactus. Mm-hmm. It's like if you we, go closer, you're gonna get hurt. You get hurt. You get pricked by yeah. the sharp needles. And all you can do is just look at it, yeah, not touch it. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm. Mm. It's a it's very uh, dramatic lyrics. Yeah, dramatic. Yeah, and sad. Yeah, it's sad. But don't don't get near me. It's kind of like it's it's something where you where you say you can't help but to love someone. You know that they're not good for you, but you can't help but to love someone. That happens. Yeah, it happens. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there. You know, there are people. There are girls who get attracted to bad boys. Definitely. And you can't help it. You you know you can't help. The, but you can't help. You can't help love the person that you love. Am of I course. saying that correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know that like rationally. Yeah, they're not good for you. Yeah, ra- but you just can't help it. Yeah, if you, you can't if help you it. like if you're attracted to someone. You are attracted to someone. Because you fall in love with your heart, not with your mind. Of course. Yeah, so, hmm. Yeah, Mm. so that has happened to you Mm. before. It has happened. Mm. Yeah, so you know with your head that you shouldn't. But but your heart tells you. Your heart tells you that you like them. Yeah. You can't help it. Your head tells you no. No. But your body says yes. (laughs) Oh my! <laughs> I think that's like a lyric. I just use that. It's not. My, it's not me saying it. It's like the lyrics. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I think make we should them good. To girls go bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're gonna continue on with all that K with Karen after listening to a song, "Son In Jang" by Song Shi Kyung. "Son Jang" by Song Shi Kyung, and you're here with me and Karen on our Monday corner. All that K. All right, let's take a look at another song from a K drama. Mm-hmm. Karen, what is your pick? Right, so this is my pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's actually from the original soundtrack of a very recent hit. Yeah. 응답하라 1988. I was born in '88. Really? Yes, I was. Oh my goodness! So, did you actually have a chance to watch this? I haven't. No? I haven't really watched dramas recently. Because I actually wanted to ask, you know, if you were born in 1988, Mm -hmm. and if you actually watched this, because I heard the main cast, Mm -hmm. uh, Hedy played, you know, the main, one of the main characters, and I heard she was born in 1988. Hedy? Mm-hmm. Or somewhere. I thought somewhere. she was way younger, no? No, I heard she was born somewhere, or maybe she was a little younger. Uh-huh. So she was born even before, you know, 1988. I see. But she played this character so well. Mm. And then I heard that a lot of people, you know, this this drama was so popular that it was enjoyed by people who were born, you know, way before 1988 and mm. people who were born, you know, way after 1988. Right. I wanted to know if you could actually, you know, understand what was going on 
you know, in this drama and relate to what was going on. You could probably relate to a lot of things, mm. even though I don't remember 1988 because mm-hmm. I was I was just born yeah, on that yeah, year. Like, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of like, um, like furniture, like televisions, like, you know, those like little things, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, like, that give off that 88 vibe. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure if I watched it, I'm going to be like, oh, that's what it felt like when I was younger, you know. Right. Because, you know, when the this this is, of course, the third part in the series because it was 1990, I think, 1994. Nin- and then nin- it was 1996. I think so. 96. So the, the earlier ones in the series, mm-hmm. I could I think I could relate to a little bit more because I was a little older. Right. But this one, I was pretty young, too. Mm. So I thought that I wouldn't be able to relate to it that much. Uh-huh. But watching it, I was... You do. Yeah, I was actually very pleasantly surprised because wow. I found myself thinking, wow, yeah, I was like, it was like that when I was young. It was mm. like that when I was... So I was, you know, I was very surprised. Right. But the uh, main thing in the show is like mm-hmm. uh, the, the main girl mm-hmm. choosing the right husband. Right. That, that's, that's like one of the thing, right? big, it's kind of the overlying theme. Mm-hmm. But I actually thought the the theme was family love. Family love. Family love and neighborhood um, neighborhood love, I guess. Not oh, I see, love, but more like the that the chong that you have. Bond. That bond right. between the neighboring <laughs> families in the small, like, small neighborhood mm-hmm. within a very small area of, of Seoul. Yeah, we talked about that last yeah, week. Yeah, we right? did talk about that. Um, so it, the <coughs> another thing that was um, mm-hmm. a big hit with this drama was mm-hmm. all the songs that was the in songs. the original soundtrack. Right. So, it was on the top charts all the yeah, time. Yeah, it was. So the song that I picked out from this drama is 이적's 걱정 말아요 그대. Uh-huh. Um, 그대 is kind of a difficult word to translate. It means you, uh-huh. but it's, it's kind of hard to put it into in yeah. English. I mean, in Asian countries, mm-hmm. or at least China, uh, at least Korea and Japan, mm-hmm. we have we usually have like three to four different ways of saying you. Mm-hmm. It's like no, which, which is like you, mm-hmm. but it's more like to your friend. Mm-hmm. And 당신 mm-hmm. is like uh, it's like more yeah. more respectful. Respectful, yeah. Towards you, 그대 is like more like romantic. Yes, and m- respectful and romantic yeah, yeah. type of For you. For example, you would not mm. call 그대 to like. Your your guy like if you're a guy mm-hmm. and you your buddy you would not call that, <laughs> that buddy would be, kude. That would be very yeah, awkward. That would be very awkward. Yeah. yeah. So kude is like a romantic way of saying like to your girlfriend or you know to someone you love you would call them kude. So yeah, yeah. that it means you though. Mm-hmm. So uh, so you would say don't you worry. So 걱정 말아요 kude. So yeah. So the drama you know it was a big hit. So let's take a look at the lyrics. All right. Uh, 그대여 아무 걱정 don't you worry. Don't worry about a thing. 우리 함께 노래합시다. Let's sing together. 그대 아픈 기억들 모두 그대여. Your sad memories, all of it. 그대 가슴 깊이 묻어버리고. Bury them deep inside your heart. 지나간 것은 지나간 대로 그런 의미가 있죠. So things that have passed, they have meanings as they have passed. 떠난 이에게 노래하세요. Sing to the one that has left. 후회 없이 사랑했노라 말해요. Say that you have loved without regret. Hmm. 그대는 너무 힘든 일이 많았죠. You've gone through a lot. Lot of difficulties. Right. 새로움을 잃어버렸죠. You've lost that newness. Hmm. 그대 슬픈 얘기들 모두 그대여. Your sad stories, all of them. 그대 탓으로 훌훌 털어버리고. Just brush them away as your fault. I see. Hmm. It's a very encouraging yeah. song. Yeah, so this one, I think it's not so much about love. Yeah. But it's more like, I don't know, it's more about... It's more about kind of like giving someone a pat on the back. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it's more about encouragement. And kude, when it's in a song mm-hmm. and it's in this like uh, context, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't have to be really romantic. It could mm-hmm. mean like for everybody, you know, mm-hmm. kude, mm-hmm. it's you. Yeah, you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. in person, you wouldn't say that to like a buddy, but <laughs> I guess when you <laughs> write a song. In a song, yeah, yeah it's it more works. poetic. Yeah, it's poetic. Yeah, definitely. instead of saying no, like you, mm. it's a more poetic way of saying It's like, you know, it's like how we say they, like, Thy, mm, like, yeah, you thy. Know, like in like thou. Shakespeare, thou, you know, thou yeah. hast, 
<laughs> right, something like that. <laughs> so this song was really popular, huh? It was very popular, and this is actually the original song is by the group Tulgukwa. Um, but ah, really? Jok, yeah, but Lee Jok he he remade the song, hmm. and it became a huge hit. Right, Tulgukwa is uh, one of my favorite bands in it's Korea. It's a legendary band. Wildflowers, yeah, yeah, legendary <laughs> band. Yeah, well, it's a great song. Mm-hmm. And we're going to continue on with All That Care with Karen after listening to this song, mm-hmm. 걱정 말아요 그대, Don't You Worry by Lee Jok. It was 걱정 말아요 그대 by Lee Jok. And you're here with me and Karen on our Monday Corner, All That K. And it's my turn to pick one song now. Mm-hmm. And um, I couldn't really think of uh, the other OSTs, so mm-hmm. I just looked at the recent mm-hmm. Top charts. Yeah. And I noticed, you know, the show, Taeyang and Huye, The Descendants of the Sun. Mm-hmm. I, noticed that, I noticed that like four songs from that show <laughs> is on top 10 charts. Right. There's, it's uh, crazy. It's, there's Yumire's song. There's Komi's song. Komi's song. Right. Well, that just shows how popular the drama is. Uh, yeah, the drama Have is. Have you seen it? No, I haven't yet. Haven't yet. <laughs> I, haven't yet. Well, I, haven't. I, I understand. It's kind of a girl thing, I think. <laughs> yeah. I can't really get into dramas. I don't know why. I, I mean, I understand because you really have to put in commitment. It's, yeah. it's a commitment. You know, you have to uh, wait for it and then you have to keep watching it because there's that hook. Right. And once you get hooked, you have to wait for that next episode. Yeah, so, I guess I'll wait until it finishes mm-hmm. and then I'll watch, watch it all, all in one. Watch all of it at once. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, the original soundtrack is uh, very good. The songs are very good. Mm-hmm. I like Call Me song. I like Yumita's song as well. They're so. all good. And uh, there's also K-Will's, K-Will's, K-Will's song. Yes, and uh, the that is actually the number one song. Mm. Mm-hmm. That is the number one OST right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. K-Will's song. Mm-hmm. It's called Mare Mohe. Mm-hmm. Uh, the English title is Talk Love. Right. Yeah. The Korean title is very uh, interesting. Bahe, Bahe with exclamation mark uh-huh. and Bohe with question mark. Uh-huh. It's, it's like, kind of like speak. What are you doing? Exactly. What are you waiting for? Kind right. of kinda that, like that. Uh-huh, that feeling. And uh, mm-hmm. how the song was released is uh-huh. uh, kind of interesting because uh, <laughs> the scene. I'm sure our listeners who have seen this drama mm-hmm. might know what I'm talking about, mm-hmm. but. There's this kind of, you know, these two, they, Song Hye-kyo and Song Joong-ki, they weren't really able to reconfirm or confirm their love, I guess. Right. Uh, they, cause, cause Song Joong-ki kept on disappearing during their dates because right, he's, right, right. he's, he's this, like a you know, secret service guy. He's not a secret service like, guy. He's a special op, special op, op, something like that. But anyways, right. so Song Hye-kyo almost dies. In, oh. <laughs> in the Spoiler drama. alert. <laughs> She doesn't Spoiler die. Spoiler alert, everybody. Anyways. Um, she dies. Oh, she doesn't <laughs> no, she, die. So, she's dead. <laughs> so know, uh, there's a scene where um, they hook up her, her cell phone to the speaker and they play a song. Mm-hmm. But like I said, she almost, she nearly dies. And then she was recording a message to her mom because, you know, she's about to die. So she's like, mom, you know, make sure, uh, make sure to, you know, it's about insurance and stuff like that. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm about to die. Yeah, my yeah. insurance papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and my briefcase. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> she's 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 waiting for Song Joong Ki to rescue her. Right. And then she, you know, she's like, oh, you know, if I had known I was gonna die like this, I should have just told you that I like you. Like, you know, she. So she's confessing her feelings on on her phone. No regrets. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> she doesn't want to regret it. And then. Um, so, you know, they're playing that song, and uh-huh. then the next part, that recorded message goes out on speaker. Oh. So, Song Joong-ki oh. finds out about her true feelings. Yibul kick. Yep. So, she's embarrassed, <laughs> so she runs to, you know, turn... Am I really... Is this a spoiler? Oh, you spoiled is, everything! Oh, but it, it already went out, so it's not really a spoiler. Okay, spoiler yeah, so. alert. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the, that's the scene where the song comes out. I see. Yeah, so... Wow. Yeah. So it's a it's a good drama. The songs, mm-hmm. you know, as soon as it came out, it's like number one and everyone loves the song. So yeah. let's take a look at the lyrics. Let's do it. Okay. So 아무 말 없이 내게서 커져만 가는 게 you're growing bigger without a word. Mm-hmm. 아무래도 이대로 안, 안 되겠어. This won't do as it is. Uh-huh. 어쩌다 내가 이렇게 내게 빠진 건지 이유를 나도 모르겠어. I don't know how I fell so deeply into you. Mm. 넌왜 내게서 맴돌아? 뭐래도 신경도 쓰이고 You keep circling around me. I keep thinking about you no matter what I do. Mm-hmm. 뭐래도 궁금해지고 넌왜 내게서 맴돌아? I keep getting curious about you. Why do you keep coming into my thoughts? Sounds like a mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> So. Oh, 어떻게 나 자꾸만 생각이나? Oh, what do I do? I keep thinking about you. 말해, 뭐해, 말해, 뭐해. 
Do I say it? What are you doing? Do I say it? What are you doing? <웃음> 이러다가 바보처럼 한눈 팔게 하지 말고 Don't make me look away like a fool. 말해 볼래? 말해 볼래? 나의 마음 마음에 담긴 사람. Should I say it? Should I say it? The one that's in my heart, you are my only one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a dance song. It, uh, yeah, it's kind of a fast beat song. Fast beat song, right? <laughs> yeah. Very bright. The lyrics are kind of uh I guess you know they're not like deep, but right, it's very light. Like it's how very light. Like, kind of like first falling yeah. in love with someone. Yeah, it's yeah, that kind of feel. yeah. But it's a fun song. Yeah, and I, I think it fits that situation. It's kind of a playful song, so it fits that situation very well. Yeah, yeah, and you would agree with me if you had if, seen the drama. Because <laughs> just talking about it, that scene sounds pretty sad. Because she's about to die, right? Well, no, because. You know, you're you're thinking about that scene where she's about to die, but the song actually comes out during the scene where she's running to get her phone because that that confession is aired to everyone in that little village where you know she 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 didn't want everyone to hear that. So she's going after the phone to like delete it from there or something. Because everyone basically heard that she likes him. Uh oh. Yeah, including Song Joong Ki. Oh no. Yeah, and she doesn't want him to know that. Does 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 he uh does he like that or does he is he kind of like of oh, course he likes that she, I ain't into her no more I don't <laughs> no. like girls that like me no is he like no. a bad boy about no, it no they're they're like they're doing this kind of you know playing hard to get kind of thing well of course they're kind of in a very um the the area that they're in they've been hit by disaster it's turned into disaster like disaster dramas it's, all of a sudden. <laughs> I, I saw like news articles about it. Uh-huh. They go to like work, right? Mm-hmm. An it's like imaginary place. Imaginary yeah. fairy I land. Think they filmed in Greece. Greece. It's beautiful, yeah. Oh, I see. But um, there's been an earthquake, ah. so they are. You know, she's a, she's supposed to be there as a like a, a medical mm-hmm, team, mm-hmm. right? They're you know she's like she's there as I think uh, a doctors without borders that kind of thing. Okay. He's there as the a UN man. peacekeeping troop officer uh, kind of thing. So, yeah, they're working. Happens. So, you know, they're not supposed to be, like, doing all the lovey-dovey stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> they're kind of... They should be doing their job, but yeah. they're, they're, like, dating. Well, they, they've kind of done their job, and things are under control now. So, like, for the past couple of ep- episodes, it's been, like, work, 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 saving people. Uh-huh. Like, there's been death, and there's been, you know... So this is kind of like that, that break, uh. that comic relief. I see, I see. Yeah. It's the comic relief part. Yeah. And it's kind of funny how, like, her love confession, like, her big <laughs> confession to him was, like, aired... Publicly, publicly for everybody for to hear. For everyone to hear. Yeah. All right. Yeah, how embarrassing. Ebor kick. Ebor kick, right? Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. embarrassing moment yep. for her. But, all right. Well, it's time to wrap things up already, right? <laughs> so, before we let you go, we're going to listen to the song. Okay. All right. Uh, by, <laughs> wait, what was the title? Bahe <laughs> Bohe. <laughs> mm-hmm. the, the title is kind of difficult. It is. Bohe mm-hmm. by K. Will, and we're gonna send Karen out. Mm-hmm. Goodbye, Karen. Bye bye. See you next Monday. Bye. Bohe by K. Will and Fight Song by Rachel Platten, requested by Yumi from Japan. And it's now time to reveal the answer for Moon Quiz from the first hour. And what's the answer for today? It's Cherry Blossom. The answer is Cherry Blossom, everybody. And thank you guys very much for taking part in Moon Quiz. And make sure to look forward to tomorrow's Moon Quiz. And do not forget to participate. And it's time to share some messages from our listeners. We have one from Saifia. Saifia from Indonesia. Moon, hello. Good afternoon, Moon. Hello, good afternoon, Saifia. I think it's the first time you sent a message, right? Oh my, this is my first time writing a message for you. I knew that. I really love your voice. <laughs> I really want to meet you and the other members. Come to my country soon. Munopa Whiting, haha. Thank you very much, Saifia, for loving my voice. And definitely, we will try to make it to Indonesia if we get the chance. Thank you. All right, we're going to listen to two songs that was requested by our listeners. Let You Go by Royal Pirates, requested by Teresa from USA. And Sing For You by EXO, requested by Christine from USA. That was Let You Go by the Royal Pirates, requested by Teresa from USA, and Sing For You by EXO, requested by Christine from USA. All right, it's almost time to wrap things up for today's music access. And the last song for today is Love Me Harder by Ariana Grande, featuring The Weeknd, requested by Anne-Sophie from Malaysia. 
This has been Moon from the Royal Pirates. You guys go and have an amazing Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow.